So, Somalia. Somalia, one of the most dangerous places in the world. Pirates, right? In the failed state of Somalia, piracy has become a lucrative business. Western navies are hunting down Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. Kidnapping. It is not a safe place. It is difficult to operate in and is becoming increasingly hazardous. And the worry is now with this kidnapping of an aid worker that that could hamper aid work in the country, which needs it so desperately. Extremists. Two Americans are among the at least 20 people killed in an attack at a hotel in Somalia. The terror group Al-Shabaab is claiming responsibility. What if I told you there was another country inside Somalia that is somewhat unknown to the outside world and doesn't have such horrific events? This is Somaliland. We're in a war zone. It is dangerous. There is a, you know, risk involved. M.A.N. Coming to you from the busiest international airport in the entire world, uh, Dubai. About to get on a plane, it's currently 3.30 in the morning, heading to Somalia. And I know what you're probably thinking, pirates, all that bad stuff. But I think I'm gonna show you a side of Somalia that you might have never seen before. But anyway, I'll explain more. I'm extremely exhausted right now. Uh, jump on the plane, got a several hour flight and then we get there at like 6 in the morning. That's my flight being announced. Better go hop on the plane. Let's go to Somalia. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Oh, thank you. Cabin crew prepared for landing. So I made it to Hergesa, capital city of Somaliland. I'll go into more detail about what Somali and Somaliland and all this kind of thing later, but I really need to take a rest because I have been on flights and in airports all night. I will see you guys very shortly. We'll go for a walk around the streets. As you can see, it's quite rough and rugged so far, but impressions are great. People are really lovely. English is widely spoken here from my little um, interactions that I've had with people. Really good, but for now, it's time to sleep, so I'll see you soon. Okay, so I had a bit of a nap on the streets now. I'm uh, gonna go for a little bit of a walk by myself and then I'm meeting a local guy and we're gonna, he's gonna show me around. I just want to explain to you a few things as we walk around the streets and uh, we'll discover it together. But uh, just a few things about Somali land. A bit different to Somalia even though this is technically Somalia as it's not an inter internationally recognized as, as its own thing even though it has its own currency they have their own passports uh, it's, it's basically its own country it's just not internationally recognized hey man how are you okay. good you nice to meet you and i've noticed that people are super friendly how are you salam alaikum is it cat is it good no thank you <laughs> Later. <laughs> I'm walking. Ah, yes. Yeah. All right, well, nice to meet you. Ciao. Bye. You too. Somali land was an English colony until 1960, uh, and the rest of Somalia was an uh, Italian colony. And in 1960, they agreed to uh, merge the two together. 30 years of disputes and fighting didn't really work out. Cutting a very long story short there. Do your own research as usual but then in 1991 Somaliland basically became its own thing again and so it's its own country it's just not internationally recognized so that's a very brief story um, of Somaliland here and it's a really interesting place
So yeah, just gonna go for a... Hey! Ask you something? Yeah. If you help me, okay. I need one dollar. No, I'm just gonna meet my friend, I don't have any money. Are you coming to Tanya? No, no, I'm just walking. Sorry. Oh no, where are you from? Uh, you are from where? Oh, New Zealand. New Sweden. Zealand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sweden, yes. Okay, nice okay. to meet you. Bye, bye. bye. Yeah, I only brought like three dollars with me and I'm gonna buy some bottles of water for the hotel. I mean, he was nice. He still wanted to know about me even after I didn't have money for him, so. But yeah, everybody is kind of shouting at me. Sometimes nice, other times telling me to put the camera away. I understand it, so yeah, very interesting place. If you haven't noticed, this is a Muslim country uh, by the, the ladies here and, and how the men dress as well. Very hot, I think it's like 32 Celsius or so. What's your name? My name, My name is Aitu. Aires. My name is Aitu. My name is, is Sanamsa. My name is in Abibile. My name is in... Good. Uh, I'm good, how are you? I am fine. Nice to meet you. <laughs> My name is Aisha. alaikum. You live here? Uh, in man, she's her geisa. Her geisa. Living? Oh, Did you pushes? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. 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 Yes, so just gonna go back and meet my friend Khaled now and then we're gonna go for a walk around. He's gonna show me the local sites. Uh, but just walking around by myself there, met a few cool people. Um, but again, people are very sensitive to the camera. Like, hello, salam. Uh, people are very, very sensitive to the camera. Even if I'm just holding it by my side, I walk past some people and they're like, no, 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 no. I understand. This is obviously not a, a tourist's first choice. That tourists are very rare here in Somalia, after all. In the bigger picture, it is Somali land, but internationally recognized as Somalia. People are very friendly, um, generally. People just uh, shouting out hello and how are you and is everything okay and where I'm from. Overall, quite welcoming. Um, but yeah, I definitely understand the people who are wary of the camera, you know, because it's very odd to see a white guy walking around with a camera with a big microphone on it. Alright, so I met up with my uh, buddy Khaled here. What's up guys? How's it going? Uh, he's my uh, right hand man here in Somaliland. And uh, what are we up to now, Khaled? We're just walking through the souk, which is also the city center basically. So uh, before it gets really busy, we want to just get some nice shots and yeah, take yeah. a walk. Relax walk, because this is first day here, you know? Yeah, we'll yeah. take it easy. So so you said like that this area is really quiet between? 12 and four, uh -huh. all shops are closed, siesta time, nothing's moving. No, right. no, there's only a few lunch places, but most of the things is all closed. Okay, and then now it picks up and it goes crazy. Yeah, so as you can see, everyone's just opening up right now, the shops and everything, so it's gonna get busy after this, basically. Right. Once prayer is finished, you see, he just finished now. Right. Uh, two teas? Sure, yeah. Noba yeah. Shaha. So yeah, you might, you might want to video this. So this, I'll explain it to you later, but yeah, okay. you, you might want to get it. Does he take dollars? Huh? Can I pay in debt? No, 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 I'll pay with my Zad. Sure? No, it's only small change. Okay. Yeah. Love it, love it. Love it. Oh, 
Are you buying drinks for the whole street? <laughs> he wants a picture. Okay. There you go. It's a video. So we just picked up some tea. Yep, that's right. Some uh, Somali tea, but it's special tea. Specialty, specialty. It's specialty. So uh, the reason why it's special is called the kechabia, which translates to breaking of the head. Why? Because of course it's the drink you have early in the morning to wake yourself up, like coffee, because it's like really spicy, really nice. So the, how what happened is a Canadian guy brought it here, and as you can see on the video, which is going to be in the edit, uh, the guy was pouring it, and he walks around serving the people of the city. So yeah, the kechabia. Amazing. Is it sweet? Oh shit, yeah, it's sweet. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> that's even sweeter than Indian tea. And that's yeah. like, that must be a record. <laughs> no, we are, we love our sweet drinks. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we bought uh, 12, uh, four teas? We bought four teas yeah. for 12,000 shillings, which is just yeah, above yeah, a dollar. Right, right. Pretty good price. Yeah. yeah, no, very good. So what's it like, 30 cents each? Correct. Right, right. Oh, no, because yeah. not 30 cents, because 30 cents if 10,000 was a dollar. It's okay. like under 30 cents, right? right? right. Three, four months ago, it would have been 30 cents. Okay. But now the president's made the shilling lower, so the Soma supposedly, so the Somali people can afford more stuff. Okay. Because because everyone works shilling here, the locals anyway, they work shillings. Right. So now they can go to places like electronic shops or whatever places and buy with dollar a yeah. bit more. Instead of 10,000, it's eight. So they're saving 2,500 or 2,000 shillings is helping them. But the prices of products stay the they same? stay the same. Because now if you're buying with dollars, if you're a dollar guy, yeah. shit for you. Oh, okay, right, right. The majority of people use shilling, right? Yeah. 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 It's a 50. Well, I... Mm, it's a, right now it's still a 50-50 but it might uh -huh. decrease, he wants it to decrease, he wants the shilling to be basically stronger than the dollar. Right. It's pretty cool though because you paid for this with, a, uh, oh, with, but with your phone, right? And that's like not even in the that, western world, you know? No, not even in the western world. When it you comes have to a the tap, number. you have to do physical, here it's just yeah. dada, right, right. Like, it's easy. So we're currently in the Suk and we've come across some meat. So what kind of meat is that? Uh, so what is, it's a uh, hilib gale, which means camel's meat. So it's actually a delicacy here. They love eating it. Um, the hum, they eat the hum, they eat the meat, they eat it all basically, it's really nice. So this is hump right here? Yeah, this is the hump. Uh -huh. And then like, I think this is like the rib and stuff. But yeah, this is camel. Wow. You can see it's darker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice cut, nice and <laughs> <laughs> so Khaled, you've got a YouTube channel, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I am Khaled Osman is a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. That's my YouTube, that's my Instagram. I A M K H A L I D Osman O S M A N. Okay. I'll leave it all linked down below. Yeah. Alright. Alright, cool. Thanks. And you make videos of Somaliland primarily? Yeah. So Somaliland mostly I like I want to promote the country. I came here to promote the country. Yeah. Um, showcase what we've got. Um, first phase is bring the diaspora back and second phase is of course the tourists. So this is mostly women. Right. Because the women the women do the vegetables and like the sewing and stuff like that. The pots and pans mostly it's men. Okay. Yeah, how are you? Good, how are you? How are you, you right? Salam alaikum. Tourism. Uh, 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 vloggers. Yeah. YouTube. Uh, not New Zealand. Okay, 
So you can see we've uh, explored the streets a little bit there, met some cool characters. Now we've come to this little uh, football match here. So right now we're not too far actually from the hotel, Dummel Hotel, uh, but we're one of the football pitches in town. So this is our football pitches. We do have AstroTurf of course, but you have to pay. These are the free football pitches that the local kids like to play football in. So the game is actually going to be starting in about 15 minutes or so. Um, as you can see now, they're just probably like warming up and things. Do you consider Somaliland safe? 100%. That's uh, Somali land is actually, that's the first thing, it's the safe, it's very safe over here. Um, as you notice, like actually Nick was walking in the morning by himself and I was like, yeah, it's fine. I don't need to worry about that because I know this country is very safe. And actually people love Nick more than me when we were walking in Sur. So uh, no, it's a great country even for like tourists. Um, they're really friendly, really nice and they just like help you out. So you can see that Khaled is an absolute legend. Uh, he's going to be hanging out with me my whole trip here. We just had a meeting with another guy who we're going to be renting um, a driver and a security guard from. And they're going to be uh, taking us around uh, greater Somaliland uh, into the countryside, to the coast, to some mountainous regions. We're really going to have a, a good look at the, at the country over the, the coming days. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. We've just been discussing what we're going to do. Tomorrow we're going to be going exploring more of the city. We're going to hopefully be going to this camel market um, to see how the locals trade. Also trying out public transport in Hargeisa. So first impressions of Somaliland or Somalia depending on how you want to call it. I'm going to be calling it Somaliland. Uh, amazing. So we're going to finish the first episode pretty knackered after two hours sleep but um, you know, it's all part of it. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.